Hi guys, uh, today let's talk about the five most important things that you need to know before you go to an SSP. This is very important when it comes to the interview. These are the topics that I'm going to tell you which the interviewing officer is mainly going to ask you about. Okay, uh, so the first thing is the rank structure. It's very very important. You need to know the rank structure of all the officers and personal below officer ranks of all the three services, Army, Navy and Air Force. So for Air Force, it starts with flying officer, flight lieutenant, squad leader and so on. Similar with the Army and with the Navy. This is very very important that you know that. And the similar ranks, what will be equivalent of a lieutenant colonel in the Army to an officer in the Navy. Or suppose what will be equivalent of an Air Commodore in the Air Force to a rank in the Army. It's very very important including the rank structure of personal below officer ranks PBOR in all the three services. The second thing, the inventory of the armed forces. When I say inventory, you need to know the different aircrafts, their specifications, a little bit, not too much, the specific roles in Air Force. Different type of weapons used in the army from rifles, from artillery guns to the air defense systems and different type of uniforms, clothing, bits, you know different units use like what does a para unit use what does an officer or a sipai in the infantry unit use what does uh, officer in the armored regiment uses all these stuff this is very very important the third thing the general trends whatever is happening the deals let's say suppose the air force is planning to buy the rafael you need to know why it is planning to buy how it is shaping up and what is the status uh, even with the Army or the Navy, uh, are we planning to buy new aircraft carriers? Are we planning to buy new frigates or destroyers? Uh, are we planning to buy new tanks? And what has been the process relating to them? Even the general trends with the indigenous production of uh, weapons like the LCA Tejas or the new aircraft which the HL is, HAL is developing. I won't tell you the name, you need to touch on that. Uh, the tanks which DRDO and all have been working on, are they? I'm not sure, you need to check on that. This, this was the third point. The fourth point is very very important. This is the most important aspect, the history of the armed forces. You need to know what and all happened in 1948, 1965, 1971, 1999 Cargill. What was the role of each armed forces? Uh, let's say what is the role of Air Force in Cargill, the role of Air Force in 1971 India-Pakistan War, the role of Army, the role of Navy very very important and the fifth and the most important aspect is India Pakistan relations this is a very sensitive issue and we need to know about this if you are going to be an officer in the Indian Armed Forces India Pakistan relations what happened the instrument of accession what happened during the plebiscite what is Pakistan occupied Kashmir what is the line of control what is the present situation uh, the different regimes of military and government in Pakistan as such which has affected India. The Shimla agreement again very very important. Other than that, apart from these five topics what I uh, suggest you is know about all the borders that we share with different countries and what are they called. McMohan line, go search that. Very very important aspect. And again, in an interview when uh, the interviewing officer asks you all these questions. Be sure that you are confident. You will only be confident if you study all these topics. And apart from that, even if you don't know anything, be calm, be very peaceful and tell him that you don't. Don't tell him in a very negative manner. Don't say, I don't know and don't get tense. Just tell him that I don't know this topic and I'll make sure that I go back and I learn about it. That is a very important aspect. An officer or even a person in general life is good then he accepts the fact that he doesn't know anything and he makes it a point to learn about it so these were the five topics that you need to make sure that you understand and this will majorly help you in SSP I hope this video helps as always uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel like the video and share it to all the SSP aspirants uh, these topics are even very important to general people because as citizens of India, we need to know all these topics as well. Again, very important SSP, very important as an Indian citizen. Uh, that's it for today. Have a good day. Make sure you keep subscribed to my channel so that I can keep updating you on all this stuff. Have a great day.